Hello, this is Noseman from the Max on Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the work plane. You can use work planes by using these little buttons here. This one allows you to rotate and move the work plane. And now your world is offset and rotated in relation to the original world, so to speak. One important thing is that if you go to your orthographic views, and rotate your work plane, it appears that the objects are rotating when in fact it's your world that's rotating. Always make sure to turn it off after you're done any work plane modifications. A couple of key points. Let me click here and rip this out, right click to make my icon size bigger and extend this so we can see what we are doing. Number one, the default work plane position, the default world is the align work plane to Y button. If I click this, everything goes back to normal. The next thing I want to point your attention is the locked work plane that has a shortcut of Shift X. You always need to use this after certain work plane operations. So let's see what these are from top to bottom. Planar work plane allows the work plane to adjust based on how you're viewing. Now you can see it's on the back. Now you can see it's on the ground. Once you've done that, Shift X, camera work plane, changes the work plane based on your camera view. It's on the camera plane. Shift X will adjust the work plane and lock it in place for whatever you want to do. Axis work plane allows you to select an object and the work plane is going to adjust. Once you make your selection, press Shift X and now the object that was selected has world coordinates 0, 0, 0 and 0 rotations, where in fact, previously it had all these rotations and this offset. This allows you to go and do modeling in place with an object properly oriented in your orthographic views. The interactive work plane allows you to select components, just hover over any polygon and the work plane is going to align to that. Don't click, just press Shift X and the work plane is going to adjust to that polygon you had. Now what you can do is select your object and go here. And if you rotate this object using world coordinates, you will see that you're rotating around that polygon. Look at that. That polygon there is the center of your rotation. So you can use the work plane in order to rotate objects around a specific polygon regardless if they're procedural or they happen to be somewhere else. These three here are the three standard work planes and you can align the work plane to any selection. So you can click on this and do that and it will align immediately. Or you can align a selection to a work plane which just aligns it to the work plane that's selected. And that's all you need to know about work planes. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.